Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. It says, so teach us to number our days so that we present to you hearts of wisdom. Puonjua kwano diechengewa mondo ami chuny man kodrieko. It is important for us to know this. The Hebrew proverb says that God knew that he could not be everywhere, therefore he made mothers. That to a child, mother is God. Because mother is food, mother is comfort, mother is protection, mother is, is a place to sleep. And when mother comes, even when you are wounded, you feel healed. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. And so we want to look at mom, and we, as we look at her and the impact that he made in the lives of our children and in the lives of the people around her, you could see there is something special. This is a mother that knew how to count her days. Look at the cross straight. In other words, she knew her source of strength. She knew her source of, of, of blessing. And so she connected with Jesus. And that is what she impacted in the lives of her children and the life of her family. There is something that I want to bring to your attention. That life is short. It does not matter whether somebody has lived for 84 years. We buried our mom when she was only 83, but we felt that she was taken away too early. A mother is a mother, is a mother, is a mother. There is nothing you can say about it. Buona sifiwe. And so when we see that we are being told to teach, to, that we are, being asked, we are asking, it's a prayer of the summit, teach us to number our days. Kiki keth o die chenge magi, kiki kiti mo gik moko mo kere, gik moko maricho. Don't, don't waste your days. Make an impact in this life. Because a man is made of three. A man is a spirit with a soul and he has a body. You are a spirit and you have a soul and you live in a body. This body is just a place we stay in for a time being. This body gets old. This body gets sick. And doctors agree, can agree, that this body can come up with all kinds of complications. Your lungs can grow old, and then you need something, or kidney. This body has many many shortcomings but your spirit your spirit is put in that body so that you may serve god in this body you are not a body you are a spirit because you come from god and let us serve this god that we serve there are gifts that he has planted in you for you to impact the lives of people make an impact please my brothers and my sisters if there is wisdom that you can glean from this be generous god has given you something and it does not matter how much you will give away god will give you more because god is our source and so even as we have come here you can be generous without jesus that will not count much you must be generous and you must know the Lord because the time that we are living in is borrowed. This is what we call grace period because everybody is given something to be generous with. But Jesus must be the center of your generosity. The Lord is saying that those who have gone before us, First Thessalonians chapter 3, they will, we will not supersede them. They will rise up first when the big trumpet crawls, and we will follow them, we'll catch up with them in the air. May you not be a sinner that is still heavy with sin, because when you are a sinner who has heaviness, then you will sink. You will not be able to fly. Buona sifiwe. I remember a story I read sometimes back when I was young of a young man who was a, an expert in swimming. 
Then he was in a ferry, and the ferry had an accident, and it started drowning. It started going down. So while the lifeguards were helping other people, people ignored him. Because they knew he's an expert swimmer, he could swim very well, but he could not swim. That time he was sinking and coming up, sinking and coming back, and people were wondering, why is, it ex is this expert struggling in the water? So when they checked, they realized that he saw some bags that looked very attractive and they were very good and he started pulling them. He could not swim. He was trying to take these suitcases to the shore. Yani, the bags were full of water and even in his expertise, he could not get anywhere. Richo kani echunyi, onge kami brother. Katitem kwang manadi, katitem wondrinadi. There is nothing. You will be pulled down. You will sink with it. But when the trumpet calls, may you be found ready. May you be found packed up. I thank God for the answers. In other words, my body may be down, but chunyangi makuomi yesu. May your heart be well. In Jesus. Wana sifiwe. Let us hold on to Jesus. Wamaki Yesu. Katiberja luo, katiberja din mane. It does not matter which, which, the, the, which denomination you go to or which church you go to. Just hold on to Jesus. Because Jesus is our only hope. There is nothing, there is no tradition that we can hold on to that will take her to heaven. Only Jesus can take us to heaven. Can you also say this, just like Isaiah said, that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Let us hold on to things that will lift us up, things that will cause God to love us, cause God to congratulate us and say, well done, my faithful servant. And that is what Mama Jane will be told because she served well and even when she was giving up the ghost leaving the body which was just her tent I believe the Lord took her home celebrating that blessed is he that dies in the Lord for me to live is Christ but to die is yeah let us pray my God and my Father, I thank you for each and every one of us who has come here. And those who have been under my voice, I pray that you may help us to think deeper. Not to look at the food or the things or the decorations. Let us look at the Jesus and let us follow. Let us, O Lord Jesus, focus. Because, Lord, our time is short. We are living on borrowed time. Help us to focus on the right Father, I break every satanic calendar over their lives. And Lord Jesus, I pray that as you comfort them, as you heal them, as you console them, may you, O Lord Jesus, restore them. Help them also, O Lord Jesus, to hold on to you that you will bless them because you know their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.